Here we found an excellent example of fiberglass that's faded and chalky. If you rub it with your finger, you're going to get the chalk off on your finger. This is obviously a boat, but it represents a lot of your front and rear caps. We're going to show you how the rejuvenator can restore this easily. A little bit of our rejuvenator. We're going to work a small area. Typically, I would do the colored area separate from any area of pure white. This will produce a like new finish. Let's review the steps that we just did. First of all, you want to make sure that you're using a wet or damp sponge. See, there's a little bit of water in there, but not too much. That's enough to keep the product from soaking in to the sponge. We want the product on the surface that we're working on. Also, never put the product directly on your buffer if you're using a buffer or try squirting it on the side. We want it on the sponge. This is a useful tool. We'll then take it, and you noticed earlier, I was putting it in this area, kind of in a circular motion. What I'm trying to do is not rub, I'm just spreading it evenly over this area. Next, we took the buffer, and we worked the product in at an angle while it's wet. With compounds, they do no good if they're dry. I'm going to go ahead and buff this out. Now notice I'm working in a back and forth and I'm using this portion. The blue actually shows you very well the area that I'm working. We're not working with the machine flat because what tends to happen is this side cleans the product off and then this side has no product to work with. This is our cutting side. The pad we use is about, this one's a seven inch cutting pad, all right? Seven inch wool cutting pad is what you need for this process and with fiberglass. Don't be concerned about using foam, don't you get fancy and use a finishing pad. You want a true cutting pad. One other last item I'd like to point out. When you're done with your sponge, you're going to keep it in a Ziploc bag such as this. That way, we're not wasting product. Zip it up and it's ready for next time. Now remember, the rejuvenator is a one-step process and what we mean by that is it contains wax. However, the wax that we use in order to achieve this shine is a carnauba wax. The downside of that wax is it only lasts approximately three months. That's okay. We have a nice shine. We just know that in three months, we're going to need to go over it with a nice polymer such as our Wade Wax.